Ever pondered about the concept of nothingness? What if I told you that even in the emptiness of space, there is something? Welcome to the bizarre and fascinating realm of quantum physics, where nothing is truly nothing. Enter the quantum vacuum, a concept that turns our traditional understanding of emptiness on its head. You see, the quantum vacuum isn't just a barren void. Far from it. It's more akin to a frothing sea, teeming with particles that spontaneously pop into existence, only to annihilate each other a moment later. These are known as virtual particles, and they're a crucial part of this quantum vacuum story. Now you might be thinking, wait, particles can't just appear out of nowhere, can they? Well, in the everyday world we're familiar with, they can't. But quantum physics isn't your everyday world. It's a realm where the laws of nature as we know them take a back seat and the seemingly impossible becomes possible. This is the counterintuitive nature of quantum physics, a field that challenges our understanding of reality and forces us to rethink what we thought we knew. In this realm, particles can be in two places at once. Cats can be both alive and dead, and particles can pop into and out of existence in the vacuum of space. Now, these virtual particles aren't just a theoretical curiosity. They're believed to play a key role in some of the most intriguing phenomena in the universe. From the mysterious Hawking radiation that seeps out of black holes, to the vacuum energy that's thought to drive the expansion of the universe, these particles born from the quantum vacuum might just hold the answers to some of the biggest questions in cosmology. So, even in the vast emptiness of space, there's a lot happening. This seemingly empty void is actually a hotbed of activity, a constantly churning soup of particles and energy. It's a world that's strange, counterintuitive, and utterly fascinating. So buckle up, because we're about to delve deeper into the mysteries of the quantum vacuum. Imagine particles that pop in and out of existence like bubbles in a soda. Welcome to the world of virtual particles. In the vast, seemingly empty expanse of the quantum vacuum, these elusive entities are in a constant state of frenetic activity. Virtual particles are not particles in the traditional sense. They are disturbances, fluctuations in the energy field that permeate the vacuum. For a brief moment, these energy fluctuations become particle-antiparticle pairs. They borrow energy from the vacuum, materialize, exist for a fleeting moment, and then, as swiftly as they appeared, they annihilate each other, returning the borrowed energy and disappearing back into the vacuum. This incredible process is what we refer to as the dance of creation and annihilation. Despite their ephemeral nature, these virtual particles are far from inconsequential. They contribute to the energy of the quantum vacuum, the so-called vacuum energy. This energy is not zero as one might expect for a vacuum, but instead it's a seething cauldron of activity. This is the heart of the quantum vacuum, a place where nothingness is filled with fleeting existences. So this dance of creation and annihilation is a continuous process, a never-ending cycle of birth and death on the tiniest scale imaginable. It's a testament to the remarkable nature of the quantum world, where nothing is as it seems and where the impossible becomes possible. So these virtual particles, fleeting as they may be, play a vital role in the quantum vacuum. What if nothingness wasn't really nothing but was actually full of energy? Allow me to introduce you to the concept of vacuum energy, an idea that challenges our conventional understanding of nothingness. You see, in the realm of quantum physics, a vacuum isn't an empty void. It's actually a buzzing hive of activity. This hive is populated by virtual particles. These particles, though elusive, are constantly popping in and out of existence, creating a kind of energy all their own. This is what we call vacuum energy. Now you might be wondering how can something that is nothing have energy? It seems paradoxical, doesn't it? Yet, this is where the magic of quantum physics comes in. In the quantum world, the rules of classical physics do not apply. It is a place where particles can exist and not exist at the same time, where they can be in two places at once. The virtual particles that inhabit the quantum vacuum are in a constant state of flux, appearing and disappearing in the blink of an eye. This frenzied activity generates an inherent energy within the vacuum itself. So if we were to measure the energy of a vacuum, we wouldn't find zero. Instead, we would find a tiny but significant amount of energy. 
the energy derived from the chaos of particles that are never truly at rest. It's fascinating, isn't it? That even a vacuum could possess energy. Ever heard of the universe's heartbeat? It's the constant rhythm of quantum fluctuations. Picture this, you're at the heart of the cosmos. It's not a silent void as you might imagine. Instead, it's a realm of ceaseless activity, a place where particles and antiparticles constantly pop into existence, only to annihilate each other moments later. This is the dance of quantum fluctuations, the universe's heartbeat. Quantum fluctuations are the temporary changes in energy that occur in empty space. Yes, you heard that right. Empty space is not so empty after all. It's a bubbling, frothing sea of activity, a space-time fabric alive with energy changes. Now, these fluctuations are not a random, chaotic mess. They follow the principles of quantum mechanics, the rules that govern the strange and counterintuitive world of the very small. This is where particles and their antiparticle twins are born from the energy of these fluctuations, only to disappear in a flash of annihilation. These are the so-called virtual particles, the temporary inhabitants of the quantum vacuum. But why does this matter? These fluctuations, this heartbeat of the universe, plays a crucial role in the grand scheme of things. They contribute to the mysterious dark energy, the force that's causing our universe to expand at an accelerating rate. In the vast cosmic ocean, these fluctuations create a sort of pressure that pushes galaxies apart, driving the universe's expansion. Think of these fluctuations like the pulse of the cosmos. They're a constant reminder of the dynamism of our universe. They underscore that even in the emptiest corners of the cosmos, there's a flurry of activity, a never-ending cycle of creation and annihilation. So, the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember this. Beneath the serene, starlit canopy, there's a wild dance taking place. It's the pulse of the universe, the rhythm of quantum fluctuations, the heartbeat of the cosmos. It's a testament to the ever-changing, ever-evolving nature of our universe. These fluctuations are like the universe's pulse, a constant reminder of the dynamism of the cosmos. Black holes are mysterious, but did you know they owe a great deal to the quantum vacuum? Let's dive into the world of black holes, those enigmatic entities that pull in everything around them, even light. You might think that nothing escapes from a black hole, but that's not entirely true. Enter Hawking radiation, a phenomenon named after the legendary physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking proposed that due to quantum effects near the event horizon, that's the boundary around a black hole beyond which nothing can escape, pairs of virtual particles are constantly being created and annihilated. Now, virtual particles are a peculiar concept. They are transient particles that pop in and out of existence in the quantum vacuum, borrowing energy from the vacuum itself to materialize, only to vanish again. But what happens when a pair of these virtual particles forms near a black hole's event horizon? Sometimes, one of the particles falls into the black hole while the other escapes into space. The escaping particle becomes real and can be detected as Hawking radiation. Isn't that fascinating? The black hole doesn't get off scot-free though. According to the principles of quantum mechanics, this process leads to a decrease in the black hole's mass over time. This is because the energy used to create the escaping particle is taken from the black hole itself. So in a way, black holes can slowly evaporate due to Hawking radiation. This incredible process shows how the quantum vacuum isn't just an abstract concept but a dynamic entity with real, measurable effects. It's a testament to the strange and wonderful nature of our universe that even in the heart of a black hole, one of the most extreme environments we know of, the quantum vacuum plays a crucial role. So, even in the darkest corners of the universe, the quantum vacuum is at work. The universe is expanding, but what's driving this expansion? Could it be the quantum vacuum? In the vast cosmic arena, one of the most compelling conundrums is the accelerated expansion of the universe. Scientists have postulated a mysterious force, dubbed dark energy, as the prime mover behind this cosmic growth spurt. But what precisely is this dark energy? Could it be intricately linked to the quantum vacuum? Let's dive a little deeper. Dark energy is thought to permeate all of space, pushing galaxies further apart and accelerating the universe's expansion. It's estimated to constitute around 70% of the total energy in the universe. Yet it remains unseen, 
unidentified, and undeniably perplexing. Here's where the quantum vacuum comes into play. Remember the vacuum fluctuations we discussed earlier? These random fluctuations could give rise to vacuum energy, a type of zero-point energy that exists even in the absence of matter. Now consider this. If vacuum energy is a reality, then every cubic centimeter of empty space around you and across the cosmos contains this energy. Adding up all these infinitesimally small amounts of energy could result in an enormous energy density, potentially explaining the elusive dark energy. However, there's a twist in the tale. When physicists try to calculate the vacuum energy using quantum mechanics, they end up with a number that's around 120 orders of magnitude larger than what we observe as dark energy. This discrepancy, known as the cosmological constant problem, is one of the biggest unsolved problems in theoretical physics. So while the quantum vacuum could be the source of dark energy, it's not a cut and dried case. The relationship between the quantum vacuum and dark energy is a riddle wrapped in an enigma, a cosmic puzzle waiting to be solved. Dark energy remains one of the greatest mysteries of our universe, and the quantum vacuum might hold the answers. The quantum vacuum, far from being empty, is a sea of mysteries waiting to be explored. Just as the depth of the ocean hides a plethora of life forms and secrets, so too does the quantum vacuum conceal a universe of potentialities and enigmas. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've uncovered so far. The quantum vacuum, contrary to our everyday understanding of a vacuum, is a bustling hub of activity. It's not an empty void, but a dynamic stage where virtual particles continuously pop in and out of existence. This ceaseless dance is not just a curiosity, it's a fundamental aspect of our universe. And what about vacuum energy? This seemingly paradoxical concept suggests that nothingness can possess energy. It's a concept that has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It may even play a crucial role in the universe's accelerated expansion, a phenomenon that continues to puzzle scientists. Then we have the extraordinary interplay between the quantum vacuum and black holes. The quantum vacuum, with its ephemeral virtual particles, could be the key to understanding the enigmatic Hawking radiation. This radiation, predicted by physicist Stephen Hawking, could hold the answer to the fate of black holes. But as with any voyage of discovery, the answers we find often lead to more questions. The quantum vacuum is no exception. It presents a riddle to physicists, a paradox that challenges our current understanding of quantum mechanics and general relativity. The quantum vacuum is a testament to the unending quest for knowledge that drives us as humans. It's a frontier waiting to be explored, a puzzle waiting to be solved. It's a reminder that even in the face of the unknown, there is always the potential for discovery, for understanding, for awe. The next time you think of nothingness, remember the quantum vacuum. It's a reminder that even in emptiness, there is a world of wonder. Before we end our journey today, let's take a moment to appreciate the grandeur of the universe and the mysteries it holds. The quantum vacuum, a realm we've explored today, reminds us that the universe is full of wonder and possibilities, even in what appears to be nothing. It's a testament to the unfathomable depths of our cosmos and a testament to human curiosity and our unending quest for knowledge. If you've learned something new today, if you've found a spark of curiosity ignited or a question in your mind, don't forget to give this video a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts, your questions, your theories, so feel free to share them in the comments section. We're all explorers in this grand cosmic journey, and your insights could be the next stepping stone in our collective understanding. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated with more such content. Our universe is vast and mysterious, and there's so much more to explore. So join us in this voyage of discovery, and let's unravel the mysteries of the cosmos together. And finally, if you've enjoyed this journey, share this video with your friends and family. Let's inspire more people to look up at the stars, to question, to wonder, and to explore. After all, it's not just the universe that's expansive and limitless. So is our capacity to learn, to understand, and to marvel at its wonders. So until our next journey into the unknown, remember, even in the emptiness, there's a world of wonder waiting to be discovered. The quantum vacuum is just one of the many cosmic marvels that await us. 
Keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep marveling at the wonders of our universe.